Hey everyone, so today I thought I'd make myself some uh, haddock. I got a nice fresh haddock fillet here and uh, no big deal. I've got some steak fries in the toaster oven. I like to have coleslaw with the fish and I like these coleslaw kits that they make now. You know, you just it's already pre-shredded. You put this packet in, let it marinate for a little bit in the fridge and you're all set to go. But the one thing about this is um, they don't like to stink up the house with the fish. So even in the dead of winter, they take the fish and cook it out on the grill. I put the cast iron skillet out on the grill, put about a quarter an inch of uh, canola oil, vegetable oil in the pan, and I fry the fish outside. Because in winter, you know, you gotta, you'll gotta you have to open up all the windows. I mean, I, I like to cook fish, but I don't want the smell of fish to last uh, in the house. So, you know, why not just cook it outside? Another thing is I love panko breadcrumbs. So, got my breading station here. I just bread up this uh, haddock fillet and, and maybe, I don't know, five minutes five minutes each side out on the uh, in the skillet and got, got yourself a meal. So I got everything lined up. Uh, I lightly season every, you know, each stage except the uh, the egg wash or uh, egg uh, mixture here. So I've got my fresh uh, haddock. Dredge it in the flour first. Make sure you get everything coated. And you want it to uh, go into the egg wash. This is just an egg with a little bit of water. Scramble up. Then into my panko breadcrumbs, which are just seasoned with salt and pepper. I did notice that uh, one of the leading brands is also making their own seasoned panko breadcrumbs, but I just bought plain and seasoned it, seasoned it myself with just some salt and pepper. So that's done. All ready for the skillet. So I think the oil's hot enough now. I moved it off the flame a little bit because the oil was smoking. I think I waited a little bit too long. But uh, let's start cooking up this fish. That's going to be good. Maybe not even five minutes single. Two minutes at the most on each, each side. I think it's done, so just take it out, put it on the plate with a paper towel on it. Just broke a little bit here. Let's see what this other side looks like. Oh, yeah. That's going to be really good. Nice haddock. Can't beat that. So there you go. Fresh haddock fried on the grill with some coleslaw, fries, and some onion rings. Got to have my tartar sauce. And the house doesn't smell like fish. And it was real easy and quick. So thanks for watching my video.